What is up everybody? It's Joe from JLB Games and I'm coming at you with another cool live stream and this one was unscheduled but it's okay. Uh, I didn't know what how long uh, my work schedule is going to be working for so that's kind of uh, one thing that kind of kind of gets in the way. So what we're going to be doing today is some Silver Dollar City recreation. I got some awesome new reference photos so here we go. And uh, so we got Time Traveler right here. I got some ref more reference photos a thunderation i got a lot of reference photos of thunderation like holy crap i got extra reference photos for a lot of different things so we'll see exactly how all this turns out but uh for that matter let's get it right into it so i'm gonna get these reference photos right up so thanks for starting the stream when i was not driving home i hope you're not driving home now so uh if you are please Please dry, get home first. <laughs> Hello, Trent. Hello, everybody. Spotty Elite today. Super excited about to play it. Uh, Elite Dangerous? Because I have that too, but I haven't played in a long time. Unfortunately. Oh, no, you're upset. So that's not good. Don't be upset. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be working a lot on Thunderation today. And uh, the queue line, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be redoing that queue, and uh, exactly how it goes. So that's what we're gonna be working on for the most part. And also, I got a lot of pictures of uh, the station building itself, and uh, hopefully that will help out quite a bit. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of this tunnel because it is uh, not right. And uh, uh, yeah, so this is probably all gonna change uh, quite a bit. So. I'm going to get rid of all this because we're going to be completely redoing this. And I'm probably going to shift Time Traveler over a little bit and to a different spot as well uh, to make sure that is where it needs to be. And we'll see how all that turns out as well. So let me get my uh, queue line pictures here exact. So I'm going to start about where it goes outside here. There's quite a bit of theming on the inside as well. You want ice cream? That sounds pretty good to me, too. Oh, man. Okay, so I got the opening here. There it is. I did, like, a complete 360 view uh, in a lot of the spots, so. Okay, so that's the opening. Uh, about right there. There's kind of like this big area right here, so we're gonna be doing that uh, as well, but uh, not. It's not gonna be functional. We're gonna be creating some path covers uh, for everything. So uh, those path covers will serve uh, for that. Okay, so this is a good reference router right here, which is like that right there. That's the tunnel that leads underneath. It actually goes this way. I never actually noticed that uh, very well. I'm not very observant, so um, <laughs> that's that's one thing. And uh, so we're going to actually, as, as, it, as it pains me to do, we're going to have to actually adjust the terrain here. And uh, I'm probably going to have to rework some of the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, rework some of these support custom supports so that's gonna suck all right so I'm going to try and just move these supports out of the way right now uh, we're not altering the track in any shape or for any way shape or form um, we're just going to be moving those so I'm gonna I can go ahead and delete that because uh, we're gonna be messing with the terrain here I'm also gonna be deleting these as well Again, I uh, have to be very, I try to be as flexible as I can with some of these because I do end up changing sometimes. And uh, we're going to be shifting Time Traveler and might be altering a little bit on it as well. Uh, so we'll see how that all that turns out. And as for terrain, we're going to be pushing downwards uh, to make this level enough with the pathway. So we can head out this way and then uh, we're going to get that where we need it. We're going to have to shift time traveler because it's not in the exact space, spot where I need it to be. It needs to be actually rotated a little bit. So um, it shouldn't be 
time travel shouldn't be too hard to adjust, but we'll see how it goes. And everything as well. So, again, I'll get that back in place when I can, and then we'll adjust, uh, say, like the footers and stuff uh, as needed. And you guys, it literally goes underneath the building right here, uh, inconveniently. So, <laughs> inconvenient for us anyways. But yeah, we're going to be working mostly probably on uh, Thunder Rations queue line and uh, station building today. So, hey Joe, just started. Uh, yes, we did just start. So, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. School internet's being a butt right now. That's not good. Stupid butt internet. We don't need stupid butt internet. <laughs> No good. No good. Alright, I'm trying to select the grid. But it's not letting me. There's nothing. Nothing's like. It's it's like literally showing there's nothing there. Oh, that's because I am not on the queue line. <laughs> of course. Alright, this opening is wider, so I will probably be making the pathway wider, but we'll see how it all turns out. How late are you going tonight? I'm not. I don't exactly know what you just yet so hopefully we'll find that out all right gotta get a okay so i'm going the wrong way we need to go that way with my because there's like this little bit of an observation deck if that's on the inside then that connects with the t uh, q tunnel there Got to make sure I get this correct, and I believe I will get it correct. So, so that is a little Q tunnel right there that leads us into that. I like took pictures, so many pictures. <laughs> Getting more rides on time travel. No, I probably won't be riding it again uh, in a long time. So, until like it gets closer to opening. Again, I got lucky. So. Probably won't be riding it in a while. Uh, at least again, anyways, because, again, I've already rode it, so. But it's going to be good. I'm always on the wrong thing. Okay, so after the turn here, if I'm correct, because we went... I went backwards through the queue, yeah. So we go in. Let's see. Okay, so that's the outside of that tunnel. All right, so this tunnel heads out this way. Looks like it's got a little bit of a turn to it at the end. Yes. Okay, so I think I see where this goes here. So we're going to go about right there. Deselect the grid. It even has just in the slightest a slope to it. So I'm going to need to put on curved slopes here. <laughs> Come on now. Work with me. See, I don't want you to do that. I want you to do this curve there. Alright, gotta get that. kind of weird okay so it goes right there and then we get to that okay so anyways you streaming tomorrow I possibly yes how's uh how's ride thumbing on I'm gonna so assume you mean training 
on time travel. I've actually only been able to ride the... I've only been able to operate the ride um, once, and that was Tuesday. Uh, so... Uh, we don't get to operate it every day, unfortunately. We're getting a lot of the stuff ready um, for the season. Like, uh, we're getting stuff in the break room put together and everything like that. Just little things like that right now uh, when we're not able to run. And uh, next week, uh, actually, the third train came in today, so they were really... How's the theming? Okay, gotcha. How's the theming? Really, really good. And uh, it's starting to progress, so I can't wait. It's really starting to progress. Okay, so after the tunnel, it immediately goes this way. Just a little bit. I feel like this needs to be a little bit longer, though. Ah! Alright, I'm gonna turn off there we go. I'll make that just a little bit longer. So we have a little bit more space to work with here. So that goes to the end there, which leads us to the first flight of stairs. So it's pretty much like this tarmac here, so we're gonna do that. Sorry about that, it was internet problems. That's no fun, having internet problems. Okay, so these first flight of stairs, I'm actually gonna get rid of that because it's gonna be more like this All right next goes straight that's where I got a couple more shots of that okay so there's not like that many stairs it goes this way and then has another uh, more stairs here. Sorry, guess. <laughs> I'm going to be redoing a lot of that stuff. Thunderation sign. We're going to move you out of the way because there's actually... I actually took the sign down at the moment. Uh, with all the stuff going... All the construction heading in, uh, going on right now. Oh, thanks so much for the 100 bits, Will. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Sweet. I set the bit goal higher this time, just so you know. <laughs> it's because we do a lot of bits, so. Sorry if I'm a little focused right now. I've been actually very excited to get to this tonight because... Um, just because of all the reference photos I got. So, I hope, I hope it turns out... Decent. Okay, so there's another flight of stairs here. All right, here. And those are those, so. Oh, it's easy, okay. And then it goes straight, and then it's kind of got a little bit of tur turn going into the, uh, the terrain here. So the terrain, I'll try to try and make smooth here because then it connects with the uh, with this it's not 100% but very welcome ah yes thank you so again again very much ah my battery powers low and I think Jesse has my power cord I hope my phone doesn't die <laughs> while I'm looking at reference photos if it does I am doomed Alright, so it's a little bit like that, but we're going to push the train down a little bit smoother here. Because it's not that steep. 
Okay, so after I get this path kind of placed here, I'm then going to uh, uh, I'm gonna probably, if I get the chance, I'm gonna maybe try and work on the time traveler entrance and exit ramp because I do know how those are gonna go. So, but we shall see completely. Eighty-two degrees. Yeah, it's it's been a really warm day today, for sure. Like ridiculous. Hey, thanks so much for the bits, Freemasons. I appreciate that. More bits, yes. More, more, more. I'm always late. Huh? You're not super late, Wolf. We've only been on for about eighteen minutes, so you're good. You're all good. Not too shabby. Fashionably late. You're just fashionably late. Yeah, it's been like it's in the 70s, 80s today here where I live too. So pretty good. All right, gotta get this. Really gotta focus on this uh, terrain here a little bit. Get it nice and smoothed out. I don't want to be too... Don't want to be too slanted here. So. And then tomorrow, it's supposed to be like... For me, it's supposed to be like in the 30s tomorrow. Like, oh gosh, come on. I can't wait, because we're supposed to be like running like... Uh, essentially, you're supposed to be running... Three trains next week on Time Traveler, so I am very excited for that. I've ran it with two trains, but not three, because the third train just came in. Ah, Wolf, thanks for the five bits. Thank you so much. Think, 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 yeah. This darn terrain is hard to work with sometimes, so... Come on, smooth tool, help me out. Oh my gosh, they're all taking pictures. See that? <laughs> Supposed to be uh, like that on me for Saturday. Yeah, see, it's weird. Our, our stinking Missouri weather is so messed up. <laughs> Darn Missouri weather. I think that will be pretty good right there. All right, and then we'll get the regular pathway down here. There's a couple of adjustments I do need to do on some of these, so. So I don't want you to connect in with that. So I got a lot of pictures, so. I don't know if I got much of the entrance area because it's all under construction right now because of Time Traveler, so. They're working on it. Should have got more pictures of that. I even got a couple of reference rows for some backstage areas, a little bit, not too much, but a couple. Oh my gosh, the view from the op booth at Time Traveler is absolutely ridiculous from the window. Whew. 30 degrees and not snowing is the worst. <laughs> I'd say I'd probably have to agree with that. If it's going to be cold, it might as well snow, right? <laughs> There's some nice snow going in there. Alright, so... Pretty much a path going around right here. Pretty much Time Traveler's entrance and exit are all going to be right here as well, so. I'm going to try and extend this out as best as I can. Okay. 
I just want to make this path extend it out so it's uh, all together. Again, I don't want to do too much with it just because um, a lot of this stuff's under construction right now, so. <sighs> but then it's going to warm up after that. Had to go through a morning glass, 30 degree weather, and wa walking there isn't fun. I, I would not expect it to be fun at all. What is this? <laughs> Like, I, do I literally want an entrance that big? No. Not really. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, we'll keep it disconnected just for now. Supposed to be break 71 tomorrow, high of 75. That's kind of like me today. Like, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get back to my line here for thunderation okay so I'm gonna try and build a little bit of the observation area here for thunderation which is pretty much the inside the queue line I'm gonna try to anyways Don't always get the best pictures. The greatest pictures. Alright, got a good picture of the entrance of this spot. If I can find it. Sorry if I'm going a little bit slow pace, but we're gonna we're trying to we're gonna figure this out. There we go, that's the picture I wanted. I'm always trying to look for a certain picture. Um for this, so I think we can add it onto this building. Joe, can we move your whole park to Florida, please? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> it might be a little bit difficult. Quite possibly a little bit difficult. Just, just a little bit. Hmm. Okay, I think that comes out a little bit. So I think I'll be okay in that regard. Should be okay. Cause the track is like literally right above this spot right here. I'm gonna put it about right there. I'm going to be doing, like, covers for these, uh... These, uh, textures as well, so... Take a look here real quick. That might be I don't know, there's I think there's a spot there. Let me see if I got a better view of the station here and we'll Yes, that goes out a little bit right there. So, this opening, there's actually another piece of the building that pulls out a little bit. So, I want to do that. And there's a little bit of a spot in here before you get into that room, so. So that will work for those. 
I'm gonna be doing some again covers on these some of these textures in here, so we will be doing that for sure. So it's gonna be interesting to do this tunnel. Gotta be, anyways. Let's see how all this turns out. hard when I'm looking for certain pictures sometimes and uh, just trying to find that specific picture <laughs> it's always hard to find well, this is a pretty good one hey thanks so much for the bits wolf appreciate it like always all right all right okay so I got another building here. It also has a roof. So we're gonna try and place that roof. See exactly how that works out. Huh. Well then, that didn't work right there. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do that. Let's, let's go with that one. <laughs> yes, that will work. We're going to, we're going to stick with that one because that works the best. <laughs> oh, hey, got our... I was here earlier, but I left. Yeah, I did say hi. It's passing by Care Windsor Bar, and we'll be on the lookout for possible construction stuff. Ooh. Ha! Just hit my volume control and just on my headset, and everything got real loud for a second. Okay. We're just going to do this as best as we can. No matter how hard it may seem. <laughs> right now we're just trying to get the shaping. Not and we're not detailing anything yet, so These are probably all, I'm probably gonna cover all of these anyways, so it's not a big deal if it doesn't look great. And those have open doors. Again, I'm gonna be doing some path covers, so. We're gonna take a look at some of these path covers that we're gonna do for this. I need a I need, you need a haircut. I need a haircut. Look at this. Woo. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say the smooth concrete is probably the best thing to use for this. And uh, get exactly what I want. I'm going to uh, click on that, split it from the building. And we are going to get it about where I, exactly I want it. See, I wish I could get without the darn curbs on these things. Just 
stupid curves get in my way. Okay, so we're gonna create, build this little observation area. It's got an interesting little viewpoint for it. So I'm going to turn these guys down here. Kind of like so. And we're going to add covers to these guys. Ooh, this one's, this one's going to be a little tricky. I hate it when it changes my uh, stuff sometimes. It's like, don't do that. All right, so this is elevated, so let me make sure this is tall enough. I hope everyone's having a marvelous day. Sure y'all are. Or at least a de halfway decent day. At least. So tomorrow for work, I don't get to <laughs> go work at Time Traveler tomorrow. I get to uh, run papers around because there is a job fair tomorrow. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> Running papers around. It's just like, yay. <laughs> Just to give you guys a heads up, I'm getting like a hundred over a hundred frames a second right now in the game too on this stream. <sighs> Yay, new PC. <laughs> Still loving that loving the heck out of it right now, so it is definitely nice. Okay, so and this opening. Okay, I think I know how I'm gonna do this. So we have a slanted piece kind of coming down here. But it is kind of at an angle, so. Trying to figure out what I want to do here. Ah, that's what I can do. I can sink it down. Possibly. Maybe just get the tall one and sink it down. Well, maybe... Um, no. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna split from building here. I'm gonna have to rotate it around here. Cause this connects with the fence. Yeah. Now this is gonna connect with a fence. Get rid of that angle snap. It's pretty much gonna connect with a fence that will do with the fence that comes around here. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and edit this and build this down. So it's a full wall. Again, we go in all the de out details here. We're going to go all out details here. All 
All right, I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit extra, a little bit less here. This is slightly a little bit inaccurate, but I don't have as much space as I would like to have right now working with it, so. Actually, it's a, we'll put it about right. See, it's not very, it's not really slanted much, but I have to slant it just a little bit so we don't go inside the structure, inside of the coaster. And everything's going to be a little bit, most likely a little tiny bit off. Okay, so that's that. Let me create a custom fence here. It's an interesting fence, so... Let me go ahead and make it part of this building. How long are you working tomorrow? Again, it's always one of those things where I don't really know, but tomorrow I heard probably around 4.30, 5 o'clock or so, most likely. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so at the bottom of this, we can have... Bottom of the fence, this texture will work. This will work pretty well. It's got more of that gray wood kind of feel to it, so... Then we're going to get, like, the top piece up here. Then there's a very thin piece at the top. Oh, I'm going to have to search for, I think there's a... Might be a certain, certain piece I might be able to use for this. Let's see how this works. I guess that, that could, that'll work. It's definitely pretty, that'll work. It's not look completely correct, but it will definitely work well enough. It's got some really weird, wonky uh, pieces of wood on here, so uh, we're going to go to scenery. We're also going to type wood in the search bar here. And I want some, I need some planks like this. This one's kind of weird because it does kind of have like some random pieces on this, so... Some, some of them slanted more than others, some of them not. It's kind of weird. So I'm just going to place these kind of in here. Some of them are thinner than others, but uh, we're going to have to keep them the same kind of length. So. And then there's a couple that go all the way up through connecting to that, so... Go. And that's going to connect around this way, so that's that's what it'll be good. Um. I'm just gonna select each individual. This will probably be a little bit better in the long run to do it this way. Go across here and just uh, do it this way.
I'm gonna do a rotation here. And do it to the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo! Oh gosh. Twitch may <laughs> made me make another Hey Kabir, lost another Aw oh, no! Ah oh, no! That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so we'll get this fence down. We'll be one uh, detail closer to getting this queue line going here. <coughs> Excuse me. And making this as accurate as possible, but still might be slightly off in some aspects. You'll never know, but Steam quality on your phone's better than your computer, huh? Did you try changing the settings on your computer? Because you can change it to higher quality from your computer. Oh my gosh, this fighting texture's gonna drive me nuts. We're gonna have to fix that. We're not gonna. We're not gonna deal with that. Oh, uh, no siree. Yeah. Get out of there. Ugh. <laughs> That's duh. Oh, we still have some fighting textures going on there. No. Why won't you just be nice to each other? Can't we all be friends here? No fighting. Oh, gosh. Alright, that's starting to look pretty nice right there. It's a start. Yeah, see, this section right here is actually supposed to be, like, this way, so... A little bit of inaccuracies on some, some aspect, on um, proportion-wise and stuff, but, uh... Not too, not too bad. So I'm gonna head over to this one. We're gonna take these. I'm gonna need to do that, and we're gonna split this section from building, and uh, we're gonna make the angle here for this. Okay, that was pretty easy. If we're to line it up, though, it's gonna cut into that. That's okay. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see if it's okay. We'll see if it's okay. So we're pretty much making this tunnel here. I'm going to have to change the grid size and height real quick so we don't. So we can have full customization. Of where this goes, okay. Okay. Of course, we have all the fencing going up these stairs and everything, so. Yikes, that is very steep. Very steep. All right, I'm going to make one more alteration to, I think, to, to this, so it's not as, doesn't have to be as steep here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, thanks so much for those bits, Ski Mad. Awesome, thanks. I appreciate it. 
I hate it how it deletes all those. Like, no. <laughs> I don't want that. I want that. Then we can go into that. Not listening to me. Darn terrain. Yeah, maybe I should wait and f fix the terrain just a little bit here before I get too far. Yada, yada, yada. I'm trying to make this as less steep as I can. Less steepness. That's what we want. Ah, I wish we could build the terrain. Like, it bugs me so much that I wish the terrain had no uh, collision here. Because this always bugs me like that. Because I want to build the terrain up to the uh, pathways. That way I can build my pathways first, and then if I want it, you know. Against it, I can, yeah. But it wants to be a booger at a, a lot of the time. So. All right, we'll leave it at that right there, or that piece right there for now. I'll take it. Okay, so now I do need to get these back in there. So the only thing I need are the supports, though. So yikes. Oh, <laughs> without even selected outlaw run back there. Oh my gosh. All right. I don't want to take this foli uh, all these bushes and foliage with me at all. <laughs> Please don't give me that. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks so much for those bits, Wolf. Right, I'm just gonna try and delete. <laughs> Probably just easier to go in and uh, delete them. Probably just a pinch easier. All right, I go ahead and reposition these. All I did was move it that way, so I should be able to do this. Should be able to accomplish this. Then I'm going to delete the supports that are in the way, so. Hopefully we align this properly. I hope so, anyways. There we go. I think it's good. There's a little bit of a catwalk at first coming down on Thunderation there, so... Alright, we're first gonna edit this bit. Oh man, thanks so much for those bits! I appreciate it. Oops. All right, so I'm going to get rid of the beams here that we are not using. Oh, my gosh. Move. It's so hard to move sometimes. Just move. All right, I can get rid of that because I just want the beam. This would probably just be easier to... Uh, Delete it and then just put a new beam in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's probably a little bit easier. Ah. Oh. Alright, we're going to go ahead and delete that one. Uh, 
All right, and we're gonna place cross beam here. Oh, booger, stop it. Angle snap. How dare you, angle snap. Oh my gosh, why did he do that? Ah, uh, you're gonna make me do all this again. It's tedious enough to do these dang uh, custom supports. <laughs> Place that. Thank you. Okay. Just, just don't bug me anymore about it. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Joe, how do the bits help you? I forget, it's a way to support uh, streamers and it's pretty much one bit equals one cent. So it's actually a uh, revenue in a way. That's pretty much what it is. So that's what it is. So if you get a hundred bits, you got one dollar, pretty much. Man, I hate it how it uh, will do that. I'm trying to adjust the terrain here to, so I don't have to mess with these at all there we go yeah this one's gonna be a booger right here in that spot because too close to the key line apparently and we can manage it a little bit but a little frustrating a little bit All right, this is going to be another tedious uh, spot. Is uh, well, it's actually not too bad where it's at right now. We're gonna adjust time traveler in the slightest, I think. So the way we're gonna do it is we need to rotate it this way. I'm gonna have to adjust the terrain as well, which is gonna be kind of a little bit of a pain. But in all reality, the break run's about right here and this is the issues I'm ha running into is I think I got the uh, spots, certain spots for uh, of this a little bit off, which kind of sucks. I could adjust it because I think I'm going to bring this out just a little bit more anyways, so. I think I'm going to change this last, the last launch section right here, this last little part. I might just change a bit. Uh, we're going to have to adjust the terrain a little bit in the area, though. Which is going to cost us a little bit of time. Like, the sports aren't that long in real life, so that's kind of like a crappy part right there. But <laughs> I think I'm going to adjust this turn on Thunderation as well, so it goes all the way out here. And uh, that will work out. Mm. 
So the entrance for Time Traveler is about right here. It has steps going down. And the building's about right here. Like, it's... The building's closer, so that's... The, one of the main issues I'm kind of running into right now. Placement-wise. Eh, if I do it about right here, that's actually... I think that's roughly where I had it, actually, already. Yeah, so... I mean, this spot actually works pretty well for what I have. I'm going to push it back just in the slightest here. Like, I don't know what's going on with these supports, though. Like, I don't even know what that's trying to do. Kind of interesting. <laughs> One thing I also think I need to do is actually pull this down a little bit, too. Because these steps need to go all the way to the bottom of uh, the building. And I don't think they're that tall, so. So we're going to have to do just a little bit more adjusting, but that's okay. Not too bad. even could be possibly just even a little bit more too that placement's pretty good right there again terrain editing is gonna be a Pain because we're gonna have to adjust the terrain where I had it. Well, it shouldn't be too hard because we only kind of adjusted it downwards, so hopefully, it, I'm hoping it won't be too much of a pain here. So we're going to have to make this to go all the way down to the bottom of the building. And I might have to adjust the building a little bit uh, to for the queue line. And it might be interesting. Well, it'll be all interesting. So Oh, all this terrain editing. Hey, Joe, who do you want to win the Super Bowl? Well, if you're talking about the Super Bowl, it's already passed. <laughs> But I guess you mean for the future, of course, but, um, obviously the Chiefs, because they're my team. So, it would be the Kansas City Chiefs, I suppose. <laughs> for me, anyways. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let's see. All right, so there is actually a road that's level here that goes across here. 
that I believe, because there's a little bit of a tunnel that this goes into, right here. So it's like all level. Who did you want to win the Super? I hope they. I wanted them to both lose. From the one, if you're talking about the uh, one from this year, I was hoping they would both lose. Because I'm a poor sport. <laughs> All right, this doesn't have to be super big, but it is a road, so we'll see how it turns out. Just a smoothie, smoothie, smooth. You gotta make it look natural, of course. Everything's natural here. <laughs> I didn't read your question, Rog. I didn't understand it. You just said, who did you want to win the Super Bowl? I didn't read it wrong. <laughs> All right, we're back in action here. Bam, bada, bam, bam. Now nah, I I read it right. <laughs> Could go either way though. And I know you commented the first one, so I know which one you're talking about. Underground. I don't want it to be underground. Oh my gosh. It's okay. Let's just drop it because it doesn't matter now. I answered it. <laughs> Who cares? Like, I hope everyone loses in the NFL. That's all I care about. Okay. Everyone loses. <laughs> everyone loses. All right, well, we're just touching up over here on uh, this since we slightly adjusted Time Traveler's uh, spot just a pinch. And there actually is just another flat section right about right here. 
It's a road that kind of goes under the uh, dr un first initial drop. And they kind of have like some bricks or whatever kind of uh, adjusting that, so. So we're just going to smooth these sections out. Because it is all smoothed out, kind of like, like so. There's just a couple of flat sections that were service roads, so. Yeah, yeah. I got the intensity way up. That's why that's uh, doing that to me. All right, so let's just kind of uh, get a grip on this, smooth it out a little bit. I think I'm going to change this last turn just slightly because <clears throat> it actually goes inwards a little bit more, and then it has that way I can make a little wider bit of a wider turn on the on that and I still have to put steps around here and uh, that the track is just a little bit too close than in real life so bum 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 Yeah, it's some somewhere around there along these lines here. Somewhere along these lines. Real life, you can almost high five riders from one coaster to the other. <laughs> Frighteningly close by the after thing. Yes, it's very close to Thunderation. Like, like this, I would actually say this is actually pretty accurate of how close it gets to Thunderation's uh, track. So, that's not that's like not like an inaccuracy. It is literally feet away from Thunderation's track. I am gonna adjust this piece of the track for Thunderation and make it go out a little bit and a little bit wider here, because. Uh, uh, mine's not long enough, so in fact, I'm going to adjust that now. <clears throat> so I want to keep that uh, around there. Let's work a l let's see if I can't work a little bit backwards, maybe. I don't know. Actually, I do want to Well, thanks so much for the brand uh, bits, Trent. Awesome. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's keep those bits coming. Love me some bits. All right, so we're going to have to adjust the terrain a little bit here, but that's okay. If I do do it this wide... It's a pretty big turn too, like, so, because I don't, I don't think I made it big enough, to be honest, because it actually goes within this little turn right here on Time Traveler, and uh, that was one thing that I did get a little wrong on this, so, hopefully it still runs okay after doing this much, so, we'll see.
Let's hopefully we can smooth that out. I think that's just a little bit better. I want to make sure I get this right before we get into, of course, like the uh, custom supports and stuff, of course, on Thunderation. Before we get over in this section, we want to make sure we get all this uh, in the right way, for sure. All right, now we're gonna go into some terraforming here and pull this down. As much as we can. I'm using more space over here, so this is going to look uh, even more awkward. Hopefully we can adjust that. Let's get the intensity up a little bit. Speed up this process. Trying to swing that out just a little bit uh, there. See, so, yeah, I knew I shouldn't have put trees over here yet. <laughs> I knew I was going to get them out of the way and delete them all for right now. Just so I can smooth this back out again. I don't want to hurt the how smooth that where I had this. Everything's gonna be blocked by trees, pretty much. So trees are hiding the uh, are gonna be hiding the uh, inaccuracy or the fun stuff here. <laughs> that was the idea. I'll go ahead, I'll replace these trees, but after I redo this, so. Okay, so we don't have.
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and save my progress. Gosh, we've been live for almost an hour and a half already. Jeez. Of course, Echo Hollow's coming along. Starting to, anyways, just a little bit. Of course, it wouldn't be a Silver Dollar City episode without some Thunderation custom supports. Got to do a couple of these at least every episode, right? We'll eventually have it done. It's going to be a while, but... Yes, I've been reading the comments. I've won what Trust me, you guys, I watch every bit of the comments. Don't to worry. Here we go. <sighs> I'm just focused. Favorite Disney Pixar movie? Put me on the spot. I don't know. <laughs> There's too many good stuff out there. I don't know if I have a favorite. I can't. I can't choose one. I really can't. Yeah, Monsters Inc. Incredibles. Those are all good. Let's see, how do you, how do you choose just one? You can't choose just one. All the above, I guess. <laughs> My answer is yes. Okay. I love Tour Story, Tarzan. But it ain't Pixar, that's true. Tarzan isn't Pixar. But it's Disney. section almost done I have to get this <laughs> gotta get this first direction moving around I got a good question for you guys in the chat when do you think I'll have this park done this recreation I mean it will never be done done but like when do you think I'll pretty much have it done I still think it's going to be a couple years.
I definitely don't think it's going to be done, like, I wouldn't say it would be done, like, at the end of the year or anything. Two years. <laughs> yeah, I've already been at it, like, roughly a year already, and, like, oh my gosh. 2024? Probably. Next February, one more year. Really? I don't know. I think it'll definitely be more than a year. Depends on how how committed I am of how many episodes I do. So, But I've been doing a lot of episodes lately, so you never know. Like, I'm really... I really want to try and get it a lot of it completed here soon. Really do want to get a lot of it done. Like, like a lot. I really do. Like, I thought we've made a lot of progress on Thunder Asian's queue line, even though it doesn't seem like much, but we've done quite a bit. Especially the stairs are a little more accurate, and just little things like that. I'm calling it 2019. Maybe sometime in 2019. You never know. Okay, so. With such a slow builder as me, you never know when you will get it done, so. Because I want to connect it to building, I'll do this. And there is a catwalk at the beginning. Not that one. Let's use this one. Snap it. Won't be too hard. Hey, man. Have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. This inside one's actually like on the inside here a little bit, so we'll do that. And there is like a catwalk here, so. Maybe we can do that. I'm gonna try and just use this piece and see how it works, but and just copy it around. It's gonna be the goal. Come on, I was like, just let me use that one piece. <laughs> okay, just let me do it. All right, there's just a little bit of a catwalk out at the beginning of it. Like, not too much of a catwalk, just a little bit. Yes, I am on my new PC. All right, we'll fill those gaps. Like, why is that one crooked? Why would that one? Why did that one come out crooked? I don't, I don't know. All right, that's gonna be a project in the making, but uh, that will definitely. I think that will definitely work. 
And that does come together. I want to start adding just a little uh, bit of detail on this. It's just got like wooden planks all over it. It's just random wooden planks all over it. So we'll see how that turns out. We're going to go to scenery. And like, it's like the dry grade out like this kind of all over it. Small pieces, little pieces. Like it's just a mess. But I, it is like nice and neat up here though. <laughs> it's kind of got a, a green tint to it though, at the same time. No. Go a little bit darker. Don't you dare give me that fighting texture. I won't put up with it. I'm gonna put a lot of different light, a couple of different colors on there. How many pictures are I taking of the park? To oh my gosh! Like I, I literally when I'm going through, it's like taking a video. I take like I do 360s. I do, go through the park and just like take picture after picture, like constantly pressing the button or the picture button. It's ridiculous of how many times. I push that button, so I could not tell you ex the exact amount at all. Like, pretty much a lot. I'll say a lot. We'll put it that way a lot. Alright, I'm going to throw just a few of these guys in here as well. Kind of hidden in the back. As there's a couple of like little wooden planks that are just kind of in there too. Kind of thrown in there. Kind of interesting. <clears throat> uh, I don't know how that's turning out. If I like how that's turning out just yet, so we'll wait on it before we do a little bit more. So for this guy, we're gonna. Make a doorway for this. It's kind of got a... I'll keep it on the green side. Dark. Kinda, it's actually kind of light. Kind of like so. that proportion way off but that's okay you work at 8 tomorrow Joe. I work at 8 50 I have to be there at 8 15 tomorrow so pretty much eight yeah <laughs> nice bright and early all right that looks a lot more detailed than what we have for sure I like that a lot better For sure. I do know how this all kind of looks now, so. And time traveler. 
revolutionary coaster ahead of our time. I'm going to use the flat, smooth concrete flat roof. I'm going to try and get the color as close as I can here. Concrete's kind of a interesting color. On dock, so... Okay, so kind of want to separate this from the building. That way I can raise it up where I want it. Okay, you're going to move. You're going to move. This is why I also want to move it so I can make sure it's not showing on the outside. Any spoiler pictures you can show us of Time Traveler or Ridge Against Trouble? Um, I'm not allowed to post anything until after opening. So I do have pictures of the queue line and stuff like that, but I have sworn to keep it to myself and on my phone, so I can't post anything online. So... I apologize, I, otherwise I would completely. Um, they told me that, uh, my managers told me, go ahead and take as many pictures as you want, but uh, do not send it to anybody, do not post it anywhere, or anything. <laughs> so, so you guys are a little bit out of luck on that one. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I will share with you guys, like, as soon as uh, the ride opens, I can share pretty much anything with you guys, so. But I will say, I will say the theming is looking incredible so far. Like, I am blown away right now. I can't wait uh, to see the final product myself, um, but I'm sure you guys can't wait for it either. It's going to look amazing. The theming, it, the theming just makes the ride that much better. Like, the theming's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So, this all has, like, this concrete over here on the transfer. Uh, it's actually going to be the unload station, technically, here, so. Figured that'd be an answer. It's worth a try. Absolutely. Like, I would love to show you. I really would love to show you, but I can't. Absolutely would show you if I could. Like, absolutely would. <clears throat> but, you know, rules are rules. Because I guess they're doing, like, a thing where they're trying to tease stuff and they don't want anything coming at, being leaked out or anything like that, so. Uh, outside, so. That's kind of where it's at right now. Hmm, this is going to be work as well as I thought it would, hoped it would, so, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, that there's actually, if I place the entrance, oh my gosh. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make the steps real quick on this. I will place the, I'll go ahead and put the entrance on the edge here. And then as for the queue line path, go ahead and use this one. All right, all I want to do is select this little grid here. That's all the point of that was. Nope. 
Alright, I can possibly do it right here. Ah. No. Trying to be difficult with me. Come on. There we go. Gotta have my square edges. Just how I am. Alright, this is also supposed to be the transfer dock as well, so... Um... Yeah. Spacing is a little bit iffy. Like, I want to get rid of these curbs so bad. Curbs are driving me nuts. I don't know, maybe I should make the transfer building a little bit bigger. And just adjust the track accordingly. That could be something I could do. going to go, it goes over here, and we do have stair, a stairway going down. To the next level of the queue line. Man. Might be able to cheat just slightly. Maybe. <laughs> There's actually windows here. See, I need to be on this side over here, but the station takes up too much space. That's the issue I'm running into, because the station gates are actually very, very short. They don't aren't this long. That's the issue we're having here. This station gates are way too long. And the stairway is, like, right, down, right here. That's... That's the hard part I'm having here with this. But it does go down here. See, I'm not even far enough down to go under the station yet, so that's that's a bummer. The it's going to be tricky because all the hue lines underneath the station, so darn it. <laughs> it's going to be kind of di it's going to be a challenge on the key line for Time Traveler. Definitely going to be a challenge. Because I don't have a great way of doing that just yet. I'm going to go over to the Echo Hollow Theater for just a little bit. Do have one section of it done on the seating wise. So that's cool. I should have just selected that end one, but oh well. Alright, gotta make sure there's plenty of way for the middle spot there for purposes all I really have to do is make one row and then I can just copy it so pretty much pretty much are you stopping soon uh not just yet I don't know exactly no we've haven't even hit the two hour mark so it is getting close to 10 o'clock so I probably should be coming to an end so I might actually yeah be be coming to the end soon. Don't want to stay up too late. Bum ba ba bum ba ba dum. Okay, guys. Hold on here. Uh, 
Ah. <laughs> Here. Uh it's uh, you won't be able to see much, but uh, I'll give you this for a couple seconds just to tease you just enough. But it's a blurry it's a blurry picture, so I won't be too. Oh god! Oh gosh! That's it. That's all you're getting. <laughs> it's one of the pictures I took. I was actually I need to retake that uh, when I go back on uh, training wise because <laughs> it came out blurry and I'm upset with it. <laughs> Spoiler Joe, right? Spoiler Joe. Probably didn't see anything anyways, because it's a blurry picture and I just kind of went... Whoop. Sometimes I like to do that. It's kind of funny. So I think I showed off one last uh, one stream of me sitting in the Time traveler car. <laughs> Everyone's like, wait, show it again. <laughs> wait, 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 show it again. <laughs> it's like, ah, nah, 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 that's all you get. That's all you get. Can't get anything else. Yeah, but again, we're doing this in true Joe fashion. I like to uh, bounce around here. And work on different things. I can't work on the same thing for too long or I go nuts. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but that's what happens to me. That's why I like to work on multiple things at once, so. But I'm trying to stay within the same area, so I don't, uh, I'm trying to complete the areas a little bit more. I got a couple of more pictures of, like, the bakery and everything at the entrance, towards the entrance at the front gate. And hopefully those will be nice enough. But I also, again, do want to uh, try and implement the cave into the game as well, so hopefully I can do that. Okay, so we're going to try and duplicate this for the rest of them. Amphitheater is actually su turning out surprisingly better than I thought it would, so I'm actually pretty pleased of how it's turning out thus far. And hopefully soon I'll get enough done to where I can actually put it in place of where it's supposed to go. But we'll see on that. I also want to throw in some like Easter egg pictures like billboards and stuff. I want to throw Easter eggs like actually take real pictures somewhere in the on the ride and some of my co-workers that have them like actually at the ride that'd be funny. All, right, all we gotta do is rise him up a little bit, and you can see it actually l lines up pretty well. So, we'll just do this for each row, and we should be pretty good. See, I don't know if it's doing a diagonal. It looks like it's pretty straight. It works. It's doing it straight enough, or straight like it's supposed to. So, hopefully, that will stay that way. There's just so much seating in this, and the sad part is this isn't even going to be functional, so. Oh, it's getting awfully short on the ends, but. Yeah, the middle probably gets larger as you go up, so that's true. See, so it did the same thing up here a little bit on the, the sides. That's okay, because we can literally just go in and adjust it, and, uh. Just add on to the sides what we need left. 
just to save some time on this a little bit. But at least this way we we get a majority of the seeding in there. That way a majority of it's done. And then we just gotta make our adjustments. Of course. It looks pretty even on both sides, so that's a huge deal. Let's see, I don't know how much battery's left on my phone. <laughs> Stopped using it for a little bit there when I was doing some tedious work, so. Oh, it's up to 5%. My, just let, let me know where it was. Thank you, phone. Let me know that you're at 5%. <laughs> Been on it a lot because I didn't get to do much at work today, so since we didn't run the ride. I only got to run it one time this week, and that was Tuesday, and I also got to ride it that day. Which is cool, and then, of course, hopefully we'll be doing some three train operation mon uh, next Monday. Um, when I go back and work on the ride, so. That's hopes, anyways. That's what I'm hoping. Alright, so. That's a good rough start. That's going to look pretty good, especially at least from a distance. Because it's actually going to go down in this little spot right here. Yeah, I still got so much room over there. I'm excited because I'm going to be able to fit... Uh, I will be able to fit uh, Expo and everything in there. Because I didn't think I was going to fit that at first. So It's very nice. The only thing is I'm having a little bit of uh, worry just a tad for, like, Powder Keg and Wildfire. Those are the two I'm going to worry about the most right now. I hope I don't have to as long as I angle this correctly. If I angle it more this way, I think we'll be okay, but... Oh, I don't know. That's interesting. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Very hot. Got Brown's Candy Factory. Pretty glad, happy of how this bridge turned out, though. It's looking pretty good. Oh. And we got a uh, blown glass factory here. Thunderation. go hey at least we got two coasters I've been here so oh, I never I forgot about the this terrain edit here that I have to do Uh, I created more uh, supports making this longer, so. But, oh well. That's how it's going to work. We're going to deal with it. Oh, it's so hot in here.
I, I can't stand how hot it gets in this room. It's so ridiculous. Don't know. I can't figure out why it gets so hot. I'd assume all the, I mean, the light, the lights and the computer and everything. But like, come on. Why is it get so hot in here? <laughs> I feel like there there needs to be more to make it this ridiculously warm. Like, like holy crap. <laughs> I'm going to do another section of Thunderation track or supports here. I usually do about two an episode at least. <laughs> we'll keep on that face for now. Might do more. Might be a good idea to actually do more than that. I'm going to do an earlier one here. This one's got more turn to it. I'm gonna find a find one that's pretty much straight here. Make it a little easier. There we go. Line you up. Oh, that's right. I need the taller supports. All right, these guys are taller, yeah. Get in there. All right, adjust this angle. There's the pinch. There we go. Angle you forward there. There we go. All right, and then I can just adjust you up. I get rid of these cross beams here because I don't want them going into the ground. I don't know why those are so hard to select sometimes. Footers here for our supports. These look like they're pretty straight. Good deal. Man, the chat died until now. <laughs> until, you, until you said something. We're also down to like five viewers, so. That could be a major factor as well. Everyone got bored with my uh, tedious, slow working skills. I'm sure that's part of it. The slow, the slow, boring stuff. Oh my goodness, we're getting close to the Helix. That's exciting, at least. I, I can't wait to get the Helix actually supported. It actually has the... Uh, it act The Helix actually has a lot of the... Catwalks on them as well, so... Make sure you're getting angled up here. That way it'll be a little easier on these next ones here. And then we 
can have room for one more. Ah, that work. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Looking good, good, good. Yay for custom supports, right? Am I right? Yeah. A 95 foot tall loop. Silver Dollar City. Yeah. <laughs> You have a great past ahead of you. Indeedly do. Indeed we do. Holy crap. So, ha, here, can someone give me a fan? Possibly, maybe. I need something. It's so hot. A little hot in here. I did notice that there was quite a bit more of a bridge here for the exit of Thunderation than that there. It's actually like no ground underneath it, so that's one interesting thing that I saw. And I did get a lot of shots of the Thunderation queue line as well. Which I just might pull up if I can find him. Thunderation queue line and the station is what I actually meant to say. Got some good shots of the station. So it does have these going all the way down. Then it has like just the slightest gap between that and the uh, other track, the uh, transfer track. And then there are slight windows in here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these pieces here for now. But just for now. Until we figure out how that all goes. And of course, we have the building for the transfer. I was thinking you should stream Silver Dollar City on a night when you don't have to work the next day. That way you can do your normal long stream. Well, this is still pretty normal long. Like, I usually range my streams between two and five hours, so. is usually where it's at, uh, normally. Okay, uh, where's the shot I'm looking for here? There it is. Yeah, so it's got, it's roughly got this nice little wooden texture. I mean, it's a little bit darker, but I think I can get away with this. Just a little bit. I think I can get away with it, so. But man, I've been working like every day lately, so. <laughs> and I'm just so motivated to do it, or do the, or get part of, some of this park done, you know. I just got that motivation. So pretty much I think we can use the booths here, the uh like the ones that you would use for uh these guys. Alright, I need the other one. There we go. Yeah. We can use these. As those windows. 
Super RC streams are usually three to four hours. They're usually whatever I kind of do, <laughs> to be all honest. They're not always three to four hours. There, there was times I had two hours uh, live streams of Silver City, so. <clears throat> so it's just kind of based off of what I do, more than not, to be honest. I'm going to replace the gates with, like, little wooden fences, because that's actually what's there, so... So trying to figure out what texture I want to do this station building for Thunderation. But I think this will this catwalk will work out once we get it all situated. Really? Like, really? The first one I did of this... I remember the first the first one, because we placed it right there. Did not have that issue. See, this... Why? <laughs> this one's just fine. Why does it got to do that? Why you got to do that? Oh, I mean, why? Why, why, why you got to be like that, man? All right, we gotta make this all level, of course. I haven't really turned it yet, so. Gotta get these placed just right. Wow, I like how that looks. That's gonna look fantastic when it's all done. When it's all done, but who knows how long that will be, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, well. See that flash? I saw a flash there. I don't know what that was. <laughs> saw some sort of flash. Okie dokie. Looking pretty good. <clears throat> okay, who wants to take a ride on Time Traveler? With no spinning, of course, but it's better than nothing. Ready? Here we go. Time Traveler. Actually, I got a better idea. Oh, never mind. Ah! Again, there's still probably going to be some adjusting in the layout, but... It's not bad for right now. I think it's pretty good. Like no joke, you do hang this long on the on that uh curve. Like that's not over exaggerated. Same with the loop. You do have that hang time on that on those elements. There's a couple smoothing spots I still need to do, but Have you lowered friction on I don't need to. I adjusted the friction where it needs to be, so. Am I going to stream playing a coaster tomorrow or another game? I'm not sure. Right now, it's just kind of like on the fly. That's why I haven't put up a schedule, because uh, it's going to be... It's all different. It's all going to be uh, random at the moment, because I don't have a schedule on my... my a work schedule. A set work schedule, so I don't know when I get off. Or anything like that. I don't. E I don't know day to day what my uh, what times I'm working. So with the bumper cam, gotcha. 
Here we go. Ah! See, I had to adjust the friction based on the, uh... Because it usually has four cars, but we don't have four cars. We only have one car per train, uh, which isn't realistic, of course. But I had to adjust the friction so it kind of... F the POV would flow like it, you know what I mean? Green screen yourself on the coaster. I was thinking about doing that in just a second. It only works real well with the wooden coaster, I think, so... A 95 foot tall loop. Mm. Yeah. It's pretty good. See if I green screen myself onto the on the right, it's kinda hard because I have to Oh gosh, here I go. Whoa. It's not gonna work really well the because I don't have my full body in here, that's the thing. It works well on like the wooden coaster because it, it's blocked off, but it doesn't really work well on this one. Unfortunately. <clears throat> if I had like a full body one, maybe, I don't know. But at least we can do POVs now without it, with no lag and stuff. That's what I'm happy about. But I tell you, the hang time on these spots right here is so fun. Like, I love the hang time. Awesome. I definitely love doing like the green screen stuff though. That's that's always a lot of fun. Ugh. Might work on Thunderation. Depending ah, uh, depends if the shot would be like that or not. See, is that the front? Yeah, that is. Okay. We can make that we can make this one work. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, this one will this one could could work pretty well. Maybe about right there. I gotta test the ride though. But I don't want to go on the roller coaster. I don't want to go on the roller coaster. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm getting cut off by some of this. <laughs> oh gosh. Maybe I should zoom in on it more. I don't know if I can. Yeah, it doesn't work real well. Ah, well. Ah, oh gosh. No, I need to be up, up here. Maybe I should do some real time editing. Ah, uh, it's not working. Ah, uh, what do I do, guys? It's not working. I'm everywhere now. <laughs> oh gosh, what happened? That tunnel's got a bit messed up. I messed with it too much. But let me zoom in a little bit more here, it would probably work. Oh gosh. Going through terrain. Ah! This is scary. <laughs> oh, oh, I have 
too much fun with this. Oh, 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 oh. Goodbye. Look, I'm so tiny. I'm so tiny. Oh. All right, I'm having too much fun with that. <laughs> Look at the front bumper car here. <sighs> oh, that was scary. Too scary. <laughs> Glad you find joy in the simplest things. Yes! That's the way to do it, right? Oh, man. Yep, the yawns are starting to come in. Silver Dollar City. It's like a uh, cinematic, you just go. By the way, I'm getting over set. Like, I'm getting between 70 and 100 frames a second, roughly. I'm getting over 100 frames a second. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of frames per second. Huh. And I hope I do. I hope I get a lot. Start getting a lot of this together, though. You know, it takes a long time, but. You know, it works. It works. It works. It works. Works it does. Never mind, just saw that motherboards can be super expensive. Did you did you comment earlier about something? <laughs> what what are you never minding, Hydro T? What are you never minding? Welcome to the stream, by the way. I don't know how long you've been here, but welcome to the stream. Man, you're not on the viewer list. The RAM alone and motherboard can get. Seven to eight eight hundred dollars for what? I guess I don't understand what you're talking about. I, I I know what you're talking about, but like motherboard for what? Ram and motherboard for what? Guess my comments didn't post. Yeah, well, I didn't, if you're commenting on the live stream, no, I didn't see him, but. Huh. I love. I love this ride a lot. I want to see more. Who wants to take a ride on the giant swing? Look at that operator, he's weird. Here we go. Oh, I'm getting, I'm starting to get sleepy, guys. I'm starting to get sleepy. Could I put myself on this one? Probably not, nah. Wouldn't, it would not work very well. Whee! So Swing Customer Blueprint, it is a, uh, technically a blueprint that I found that looked really good, so I'm going to make a minor adjustments to it, a couple of adjustments to it to make it a little more accurate, but overall, yeah, it's a, I thought it was a really good blueprint, so I wanted to use, uh, 
uh, definitely help use it to get my shaping or get me started on this. Uh, get me started on the swing, so. It looks really good. Even their sign's are really good, too, because that's, that's actually really, really good. Like, there's a couple differences. There's actually lockers right here. It doesn't have a sign saying this way. Uh, this is accurate. It's not really the sign there. That's a little bit inaccurate in the sign there, but... Again, I might make... Uh, I kind of want to make a couple different things. For what it is, it was pretty really well put together, though. That's why I kind of wanted to use it a little... Uh, Use it a bit. Because <laughs> technically this is where you would stand on your numbers and everything. Kind of weird. Think about getting an i9 uh, 2, but is it true that gaming motherboards can cost up to $500? Because the one, yeah, for, you have to get a, a, a 299 or X299 motherboard. Uh, any one of those will work with the i9. Or something like that. Something similar like that. Like, I th it has to be a 299. Like, an X299 motherboard. Depending on how m good of a motherboard you want. I mean, uh, they have cheaper ones available, so... Excuse me. If you know what I mean, so... That's incredible. Like, I just... Like, I'm so impressed by it, like, I d highly recommend the i9 because, guys, I'm streaming in 1080p, 60 frames a second. I can't, I cannot, like, be more excited about that <laughs> than what I am. It's ridiculous. Just incredible, I think. It's really hot in here. Can we ride Outlaw Run? I guess so. <laughs> if you want to try. Is the X299 the one you got? Yes, I got the X299. That's the motherboard that... Uh... There's different ones. So there's more expensive ones and there's cheaper ones. That's just like the model number or something like that. Just uh, like everything I look... I think it's called the X299 that goes with the... There's different ones... There's different X299s, but that's the one that goes with, that is compatible with the uh, uh, i9. So, only uh, as far as I know, that's the only one that's uh, compatible with the i9. So, I don't want to buy something that doesn't work. So, you're the tester for me. Yeah, that's what mine is. Um, I can double check it for you, but uh, yeah, I had to get the. It was the X. Um, X299. I know it's 299 and there's an X in there. I know that for sure. So, 100% sure on that, that there's a 299 and an X there uh, on the uh, motherboard. So, and it's usually one of those. Those are $400. Oh, really? Are they really that much? Huh. I thought they were, I thought they were around two to 400. I'm not entirely sure. I will run star. Oh no, 400. They might be 400. By themselves. Anyway, so yeah, at riding Hello <laughs> Run, it will clip through the terrain. I could fix it real quick, but. We got the other world where it's actually together, so. I also only have 16 gigabytes of RAM, but my park is using about 12, and it's halfway. In. Yeah, I have 32 gigabytes now, so it's. Uh, I think the 32 is definitely a way to go. 32 gigabytes is very ideal. Uh, don't know if I really even need more than that. Like 32 is really good, and that's what I upgraded. I used to have 16 as well, and I upgraded to 32, and I'm loving every second of it right now. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah, we got a lot of the, mainly worked on the uh, queue line here for thunderation. Kind of getting the shaping of that. We adjusted the location just slightly on time traveler. It's actually pretty good right now, I think. 
That's actually a really good spot, I think, where that track is right there. Need to upgrade, but it looks like the 299 uh, only has two RAM slots, so I'd have to buy new cards and 32 costs. I know it's really, th does it really cost 300 bucks for the 32 gigabytes? No way. I mean, you. Uh, I have two 16 cards uh, as well, so I don't know how many slots. My, I think mine only has two slots, so, and I'm using two 16s. I actually can take a look in it right now because it's open. Yeah, mine only has two RAM slots, so I'm using two 16s, and they're really good. They're really good RAM. I don't I don't know exactly what they are, but they look really nice. Like they're not just little chip cards. They're actually really nice looking. I kind of want to show you this thing, like my PC, real quick. Like it's really cool. I'm gonna have to turn my green screen off to show it, but be right back. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Oh gosh, my cord's too short. I'm probably making lots of noise. I apologize. Okay, so we're ready for this. This is the unveil. Oh, there it is. Look at that thing glow. Oh yeah. Just look at that thing glow. I love. I love this PC and just look at it glow red. You can actually change the color of this too to whatever color you want. Pretty stinking cool. Of course, I got the red, and then these are LEDs in here, so I actually have a remote control to change the color in the inside too. So, but uh, also, is liquid cooling necessary for a processor as powerful as the i9? I would probably say so. Like, you can see I do have liquid cooling as well. That was another upgrade uh, part of this. So, after looking over it and everything, Hydro T, I ended up just buying a completely new PC and put my uh, GTX 1080 Ti in there. And I also had a better uh, power supply as well. So, that's what I ended up doing with uh, the upgrades. Is I actually bought a new PC and put... Uh, my stuff in there so and then kept the upgrades that are already in there so that's kind of what i look like so that tower looks expensive yeah this tower was about 20 oh it was almost 2500 bucks so so it was pretty expensive but th i highly recommend this thing this thing is fantastic like oh my gosh i love every every and it even has like like for crying out loud it has a little dust cover so you can actually get the dust out and uh, clean it off, which is really, really good. Really, really nice. And uh, again, the LEDs are cool. The liquid cooling's nice. And uh, it's just overall fantastic. I haven't had, again, I've only had it for a couple days now, but I am super impressed by it. But I got I had to throw my hard drive in there. That way I'd ha have all my files and stuff. But um, it also has an SSD card, which didn't have a lot of space on it, but... It's incredible. It has the i9 processor within that motherboard. But I think it's also, a, in my opinion, I think it was a cheaper route just to buy the new PC over buying the upgrade parts. So that's that's just it. Okay, so let me get, <laughs> to get us repositioned here. But really cool tower. Absolutely love it. So my cord is just like all over the place too. Oh my goodness. Get the webcam back in place here. Yeah, the liquid cooling's $100, tower 200. Uh, oh my gosh, motherboard 400, RAM 300, so total 1000 for the other stuff without tax. Yeah, that's inc that's just ridiculous. Where did I have this to My green screen. So now you can see what my green screen looks like. Yeah. So my green screen looks like in the background. <laughs> I gotta reposition this perfectly the way I had it. Okay, 
Now I gotta watch. You're gonna watch me apply my green screen. Watch. Whoop, there it goes. Ha ha. <laughs> kind of neat. <laughs> yeah. So again, it just kind of all depends what's already in your your computer. I think so. Um, I wanted everything to work properly together, so I ended up just buying a new PC and slapped in my uh, uh, graphics card and uh, power supply. Because my power, su the power supply it came with was 600 watts. My power supply was 750 watts. So uh, the stuff that was already better in my PC, I threw in there because I had a better graphics card than what it came with, and I also had better power supply that, than what what it came with. So. It looks fantastic. You change the colors on it, so that's really cool. The liquid cooling's nice, I'm sure. Uh, so, really, really cool. But, I'm super impressed by it. Got a little bit off topic here with the, the, with the park, so. Awesome PC, by the way. Thank you. You're the one that helps support the channel and help me get it, so. I sorry that that was, comment was a little bit further back, but yeah. Uh, but I have you to appreciate. I appreciate you for helping me get it. So um, again, I put a I put a little bit extra money in just to get it. So uh, I thought it was definitely worth it. I had a lot of different options out there. I was custom building my PC, uh, and then I came up across this one. This one's on Newegg, and it was on on there for like twenty four hundred. I think it was on sale because it's usually about. 26 2700 might have even been 3000 it's originally like 3000 so um uh so i think it's originally about 3000 bucks but it was on sale on new egg for about 2400 so definitely recommend it for sure and new pc is better it does give you the price mind yeah it does again the price pricing range um i do think it's a little bit cheaper to buy a whole new pc instead of going out and buying the parts yourself and I kind of discovered that, and that's kind of the route I decided to go in, so. I just looked, all I really did was look up i9 processor PCs and uh, found some pretty good ones, so. There's a lot of different options I looked through, but this one by far caught my eye the best. The only thing is, is it doesn't come with a disk drive, uh, so that's the only downfall I have to it, but I already have a disk drive, uh, but I don't know exactly how I'm going to install it to where I can have access to the drive, so, uh, I can install it, but there's not really a spot to put it, that's the only, kind of the only gripe, uh, upsetting part about it, even though I don't use, I don't use a disk drive, like, at all, but you never know if I want to burn a CD or something like that, you know, it could be handy, but, yeah, but it's not a big deal. I have my laptop, which has a disk drive, so if I want to burn CDs or anything like that, I can do it like that. So, anyways, uh, yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot. And you can tell the, the just the quality it can give for, like, live streaming and stuff. It's huge. It works very, very nice. I love it so much. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> But anyways, uh, I think that's, uh, the, that's what we're going to do for this stream uh, for now. Uh, because it's getting really hot in here. I need to get out of this room. Because I really think I'm going <laughs> to, like, just like, oh my gosh, I'm burning up so much. I'm sweating. Like, it's so hot in here. Like, when I first start streaming, it's not so bad. But after a while, it's just kind of like... <laughs> I mean, you don't have to worry about it restarting. Like, who knows what a new CPU... Uh, could have done to the old PC. Yeah, who knows? It probably wouldn't have worked as well, to be honest. And uh, uh, I I really just wanted to stick with my PC parts and just upgrade it over the years. But I thought this was a, a better route, in my opinion. And uh, I think it just works better because then I would have had to possibly buy liquid cooling and, you know, the RAM and everything. It just... The new motherboard, I, it's, you know, there's so many things upgrading there that I would have to do just to upgrade the processor that it made sense just to get a new PC, so. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for tuning in tonight, and uh, I know I didn't get probably doing as much progress as I should have, but we'll probably come back pretty soon. Again, I still have a lot of, lot of uh, reference photos right here on this phone, which is about to die. So, <laughs> next investment is AC. Yes, yes, absolutely. Like, 
the entire house is cool. Like the entire house is perfect temperature except for this room. And uh, it's probably not good on the PC. It probably can get it really hot as well since of how hot it gets in here. Um, so I need to invest. In, I do think I do need to invest something in to get it in here. But anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I have an early rise tomorrow, so I don't want to stay on here too long. Um, and I know I just had his last 30 minutes or so. I just kept showing off my PC and uh, talking. So uh, anyways, thank you guys again for tuning in. And thanks for the support. Thanks for the bits that we earned tonight. 34% uh, which uh, out of 500 bits. You know, I had set it to 500 this time. But so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next live stream. We'll see. How much do SSDs cost? That's a good question. I actually haven't looked them up. But I'm thinking about getting a new one later on too. Because I heard SSDs is actually better than hard drives. So hey, you got me into another conversation. But yeah, that's what I've heard. SSDs actually are a lot better than hard drives um ssd is oh gosh i remember what it was but now i don't remember it's a uh, it's kind of like a little card that storage card that goes in to your pc so it's kind of replacing the hard drive now uh so uh, they're just a little i think they're a little bit faster or something like that so um it's really really neat but um uh, my this PC came with a 480 gigabyte SSD, so um, not a whole lot. So I threw my I had to throw my hard drive in there to make sure I had all my files still and programs and everything, uh, of course. But I, uh, I'm going to be using both of those. It gives me a little more space, and uh, I'm thinking about upgrading to a higher SSD. Maybe yeah, solid state drive. Thank you, IJT. That's what it was. Like it was there. I couldn't remember what it was, but but I think they are. Uh, I I have heard that they are better than hard drives uh, to use, but. Maybe someday I'll get one, uh, a new one, and uh, maybe like a very high-end one. I don't know. I'm sure they're expensive, so especially if you get like a terabyte or two terabyte hard drive or SSD. So, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. And this has been Solar Dollars Eighty. The bandy cam uses a lot. Yeah, that's true. Especially if you use a uh, high quality settings. So, but my my videos don't last on my computer long, and I delete them. So. But I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good night. And uh, we'll see you guys later.